Okay, playing as guest. And let's see what we can do here in preparation for the over the ball tournament. In a few days. Oh, come on. We're doing bomb cloudy with the night. But as I found out, it doesn't mean that it doesn't work. So let's just carry on developing. <laughs> uh, super special. Keep developing and they may come out and shock us, might they? Shall we just... No, let's castle. Let's hit the knight. Okay, funny, funny, funny. So, do we go for the attack? Not really, because his pawn just drops. Let's bring it here. Shall we just take? And attack the king take the bishop off the board when it comes so as we're showing it doesn't mean they're losing just because they did those funky knight moves just bring the rook opposite the king trying to attempt this Queen's defending, so do we do this, drops in, maybe we'll delay that and get the Queen in the game, should bring the Queen here, opposite the King, yeah, not doing his fancy knight move anymore, yeah he's going here, see this player knows stuff, could hit the knight again, with the pawn. Let's hit the knight. Okay, so he's not going to jump there. Let's bring this rook opposite the queen. He has gone there this time, so we can take the pawn. He has loads of pieces defending that square. He's got the bishop, the knight, and the queen, and the king. He's got plenty there. His king is hemmed in, but we can't do anything about it. This is why I'm saying just because they do these silly moves doesn't mean you're actually winning. So we can keep the bishop there. Can the knight jump in and attack his, but then the pawn can take. Is there any of this? No real support, is there? There's no real attack. Is the knight jumping here to jump here, but no. Could jump here, attacking the knight. No clear way in. Any diagonals for the queen? No, okay, let's see if we get away with trying to get to here. Nope, they see stuff, they know the game. So do we push forward? I think it's only a decent move, I think. Let's just push. Obviously, there's probably more decent moves, but in my head, I'm thinking, I just want to keep this area. Don't want to move any of these pieces. So we may as well try and use these pawns against here somehow, see if we get up. Okay, they're thinking the same type of thing. So if we push, pawn takes, knight takes, we're getting what we're kind of wanting. Ish. So I think they'll probably just push down. So we jump here. 
Knight takes, pawn takes, queen takes the pawn. Mm, am I really liking them apples? Just take. Let's take. Um, he gets the knight for free, and now they're plus one. But it's not free as in a bird, because the bishop can take. Rook's facing, but the bishop doesn't have any protection. Queen's got a nice spot, but the pawn is blocking. So I think this bishop is going to be threatened. Queen's coming off the back. Is it looking to double up? Knight can attack the queen. I think we bring the knight attacking the queen. Be nice if we could get this, but it's a bit obvious. Sit the knight here, a bit uncomfortable. Attacking the pawn again. probably going to attack the bishop it's not doing the attacking the bishop i suppose that is that a good thing for us yeah we could bring the queen like we said attacking the pawn but it does just drop but then we could get the bishop or the rook off the ball probably the bishop because the rook will move but is there something better knight can still go here Putting more pressure onto this pawn, but the queen is still protecting. Their queen is attacking this pawn. Which one do we want to go with? That's like a mate threat. So you'd think going for the mate threat, they're forced to do something out there. We could bring his knight off of protecting this pawn, which would be a good thing, wouldn't it? So I'm going to bring the queen here, attacking the pawn. Knight blocker. So they're blocking with the knight. We could move our knight out of the way, like we said. They've got three pieces defending. We've only got two attacking that pawn, the rook and the. And he's also got a two on one here with his knight now. Mm hmm. Tempted to just bring the knight here, blocking the queen from attacking the pawn. I think that's the way to go, isn't it? Oh, but he's going to get our pawn on the bottom, isn't it? His queen's getting our pawn. If he goes running for the pawn. No, we've got three, we've got three on there. We've got the bishop as well. So if we bring the knight here. And then say they do take. We can take. Yeah, I think that might work, might. Let's bring the knight here. So putting like three pieces on here. So they've only got, if the queen does take the pawn, they've only got the, bishop, the king and the bishop protecting.
not doing any calculations just because I'm waiting for the opponent to make their move next and then we'll do the calculations from there because we've done our calculations up to this point and we've seen the variables not all of them obviously they could do some weird type move that I haven't visualized so the rook has come down rooks don't have any place in the center of the board only thing I think it's trying to do is get to this square here so it's attacking our queen so now I can do my calculations queen is still defending so he's got one two three and we've got one two three if we put another one on there it puts a bit more pressure onto that position but the knight can come and attack the queen here so if we came here with the queen the knight can't then put pressure on the queen and we've got a lot of pressure on this pawn I think it's the knight move coming here although there is a problem with that I just noticed yeah so if we did go here And say the knight takes the pawn because the queen's no longer protecting the pawn it'd be the rook taking and the queen can take our knight queen can take the knight but we would have two pieces on there well three pieces on this pawn but they'd be on our rook so we'd have to move the rook first so the rook would probably come across putting more pressure on the pawn right let's work this out queen comes here knight takes rook takes queen takes the knight rook moves across rook moves across Ooh, interesting. Rook takes. Pawn takes. Queen takes. Queen takes. Rook takes. Does that look messy? It feels like we win out somewhere. Well, positionally as well it feels that way I'm going to risk it for a biscuit up across so get the pawn back we take takes here yeah. rook comes and defends take the rook yeah they're doing it let's do it does the rook take I don't think it makes much difference does it because we're planning to come here to put some pressure on the pawn oh the rook does take so that's different to our calculation so does it actually make the move order different in any way shape we've got one two three attacking He's got three defending so let's just bring the rook here and like we said we expected the rook to come here but he may just push the pawn down and just go for a bishop exchange and as has been proven they don't really do what we say we get shot when they do he could even just hit the rook here would we go like this or no he's um tripling one two three four one two three four but he's landed on our bishop but the problem is we're not going to take the pawn now because it's going to be the bishop taking 
Okay, so he looks like he's going for a checkmate position. Yep, because he's not taking the bishop. Got to instantly think, well, why didn't they take the bishop? So we could push the pawn up, or we could just push this pawn here, or we could... And we can't do that because the pawn can't take back. So we could push the pawn here. It does hold the queen to ransom, though. Because if we move the queen, they can take, and this pawn can't take back. Anything else? If we push up, is there any of this magical getting the queen in the middle type thing? No, just push the pawn up. So now they'll take the bishop. Okay, this pawn is a little bit free. So they're probably going to be looking to try and attack this pawn because the queen has got this angle. So if we take this pawn first, then the rook moves here. We can't push the pawn up, but we can push this rook here. Bit mindful that this can drop down and hit this rook. Okay, so they're not doing that just yet. This queen's on a white square. Move the queen. Mm -mm -mm. Just move it back. Or do we move it here? Mm -mm -mm -mm. What's this queen trying to do? Bum, bum, bum. It's, it's still got that magic square, hasn't it? Let's bring the queen back here. Yep, so he's going for that situation that we talked about. Queen's defending there at the minute. Could just move the king out of the way, but then he's going to put a check on. Move it here. But then his queen, or well, his queen's on a white square at the minute. Okay, so they know the stuff. Could bring this rook. No, we can't bring it there. I'm trying to go for a back ranker. Could go here to attempt to hit the king. Is he exchanging? I'm going to bring the rook here. Put in another check threat. Now the queen is trying to get in here. I like, might be going for an exchange, but I'm not too fussed about the exchange, but it's also protecting this square as well. So we could bring this rook here to really go to town. So I think going simple, this queen definitely can't let us here. It can go here and we can take. So I'm going to bring the rook here, looking to attack there. If their rook comes here, we get it kind of for free. Their rook is looking to defend, so we could, we're going to get their rook off the board. But is there something better? We could just attack their queen. Mm, are they setting something up? Could attack the queen. Or in fact, just attack the king first. Then attack the queen. If the queen moves, we take the pawn and we might get a smothered check on the king with our queen, maybe. So I'm going to attack the queen, I think that's right. So if they move, maybe we can take the pawn and then come back here. I think they'll just stay protecting the pawn. Well, they're protecting the pawn here. Right, so if we tripled up. to go if they did take queen takes rook and so it'd be rook against the bishop 
got a 2 on 1 there, but he does have the bishop. Do we come back here? Attack in the pawn. Mm, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We come here. Do have the option of putting a check on the queen. Sure, I'm missing something. Let's just bring the queen here. Simplest option, attacking. They don't have to take, of course, but the bishop's getting into the game. So we could just go and get the queen off the board. If we went here, he has to do something really, doesn't he? Maybe his queen moves and we're just taking and then his king takes. I don't think they'll do that. So the rook will take. Queen takes. Queen takes. Rook takes. Rook versus the bishop. Is it doable? Let's attack. Let's take. Take with a check. And let's move and attack the pawn. Let's take. He's attacking our pawn. Do we push it further up? Let's just keep pushing and push. And push onto the dark squares. Just take it nice and easy now. Okay, so we can come out of here. Don't think there's any rush. We can move our king. Let's move it into the dark. Right, okay, let's get the king up. We don't need to rush because the king can't come past this way. He'd have to come around to come and get these pawns. Move the king. Oh, don't forget this pawn. Shall we put this on a little dart square? I'm probably overplaying it. Put this one on a little dart square as well. Uh, is he looking to we can just take it out let's block here Right, and let's put this on a dark square. Like we said, so I'm going to try and support this pawn because he wants this pawn to push down. And yeah, that's about it, isn't it? let's let's go here there's no point pushing it here because the bishop's just going to knock it out any thoughts of pushing up to there won't won't transpire let's move the king up and let's move the king up let's move it up let's go and get this pawn And let's go and get the pawn. Oh, wait a minute. Just don't be so hasty. We go here. He drops his pawn. He's got a check on our king. 
with the bishop. So then if we take his pawn, it's highly developed up the board. So we don't want any of them apples, so we may as well take this pawn. Okay, so we're still not going for this one. So now we're on a white square with our king, so we're going to get a check put on us. So I think we can just move here again and start pushing these pawns up on this side. Let's push. Let's push. Let's keep pushing. It's gone into the corner, so now this is where potentially let's just push this here and put a little check on the king. Is there anything else? Definitely not going there, don't forget. So let's push. They are attacking. So we don't want to go here because the bishop can take. We can take the pawn or we can push onto the king. And then he's probably going to get himself mated if he takes the pawn. So I'm going to put a check on the king. Because then the rook comes here. I suppose he can go here. So maybe we don't rush with that one. Again, he pushes the pawn. Got a check. We're definitely not doing that. Bring the rook here. He moves there. Bring the rook here. He moves there. So he's on the back. Start pushing these pawns up. And nothing can really stop them. I could just start pushing these pawns now. <laughs> I don't need to do the king the rook move. Going to push the pawn. Last pawns want to be pushed safely, of course. Let's push. It's no stalemate, it's got bishop on the board. Let's get the queen. And this will be checkmate. He can't go here. So that's uh, job done. Excellent. Very smooth game.